so in this video we'll be working with um um i'm still continuing doing some just like questions so we're supposed to get v out the voltage coming out here so now we have a capacitor there so we're still going to use our nodal analysis and our kickoffs wherever possible so it's literally nothing new so just to start up in physics we're told that um, i call it q charge is equals to charge in a capacitor is equals to capacitance and voltage and then i can just take down d i can differentiate look at the change in both time um as time changes and change of charge per time that one is defined as current i mean current and then here c goes out and i'll have d v let me just call it in v in all over change of time so this is our current so now we have current going in here now we have to find current going out here so remember there is no current going in this way so current blue red is equals to current blue so let me continue with my problem so that is current in let me just say this is current in let's look at current out current out is current from here or there but the current i'm looking into this one red current so now can we get current out current out will be i'm just called current or the call current final here it's going to be the voltage here let me just call it v minus minus v out all over resistor srf this is just your ohm's law this is your r and we all know that v1 is i mean v minus is equal to v plus voltage is equal to voltage here equals to voltage here which all equals to zero we call that on virtual grounding so i've been saying this almost all my views i think now we should be getting it so now what we can do now okay we said we also know that current in should be equal to current out so we can actually equate equation number one to equation number two so we'll have c d v in all over dt should equals to v in is set to be zero already set it here minus v not all over r f so i can cross multiply that f it will be okay let me make this f neg r f negative so it should be easy Cross multiply that on a to be negative r f t v in all over t t is equal to voltage so now we already solve our problem and this one is called what differentiator don't come don't confuse it with the subtractor one that difference and differentiator are two different things so yeah let me just zoom out a little bit so that if you want to take a screenshot you just get the whole derivation because it's literally examinable so you start here you talk about the current flowing in you you solve for current and then take the diff, uh, derivative both sides and then you get current out and then you equate those currents and then you land into your answer so you did differentiate so that's why it's called differential differentiator on amp thank you